Watch your lads, welcome back to part 7 of the old Austin build. Now if you've been wondering where I've been for the last few weeks, unfortunately just after the new year, they caught the old lurgy, Covid or whatever it was, and it knocked me out for three weeks. But I'm back now and I'm firing on all cylinders. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the old bell and you won't miss any of the content that's coming up. Now, once again, I start with shock absorbers. Okay, so I'm gonna tidy this lot up first and then make a bracket that looks pretty similar to that one to come out here. Okay, this is the idea. I'm gonna extend it onto to these. That's gonna be lovely to cut out. Well, this is the idea. So they tuck right in there, they, so they're going to be nice and strong. A bit more sand in on them, but they should be just right. I've got to cut a slot in here. So I'm going to set up the caster on this front end. With the bottom links off, I'm setting the axle about four degrees laying back. Now I could drill these, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these out and then when it's upside down, I'll drill two sets of holes and then I can adjust the caster. Right, so the caster's about four degrees, and I've clamped him on here. So I'll trim these bits up, and now I'm going to weld these in, and this will put the last of the strength in. There you go, this is the idea. I'm going to weld this right up to make this look like one unit, but that's what it's going to do. You gotta find me. Okay, here's the kind of finished result. Now this piece, Add this joint to it. I don't know what it was. It was on the Austin. But what I'm doing, this fits into there, makes this nice and neat here, and I can adjust where it sits. But I'm going to put a bit of tube inside here and then weld this all up so it's all nice and solid. Now, I really don't feel like grinding anything or doing any heavy fabrication. What I'm going to do, as I want to fit the steering next, I'm going to make the body buck up. Just make some timbers up around here and here to make the bulkhead and I'll be able to see where all the brakes go and where I'm going to put the steering box because it's going to be raised off of the chassis.
that's what the body's going to look like. These bits are going to come down and join in somewhere around here, but that's about the basis of it. So I brought it up on a couple of bolts. So I'm going to have to make a bracket that comes off of here just to raise that up. And it keeps this a little bit higher as well because I don't want anything hitting it off the road. This pitman arm snapped off at some point, so I'm going to need another one. I've got another Austin 10 steering box in here, I've got the nut off. Now this one was buried for God knows how many years. So the next job is brakes. Now here are all the brake parts and this is pretty much it to be fair. Right, so this is the original position for the brakes. Now the problem with it is it's hanging down the bottom way too much. You know what I mean? That's only like four inches off the floor by the time it's got the weight on. <laughs> if you were to hit something coming up the road. So I need to raise this, but by raising this, this will put this, which supplies the front brakes, inside the cap. So what I'm gonna to have to do is completely redesign this. So I'm gonna take some bits off the Citroen and uh, have a bit of a think. Not beating around later. I've got this lot. Now these go into these slots with cotton pins. It's 100 years old and it came out pretty damn easy. Now I should be able to use most of this. Cheers frog. Well this is the basis of Austin 10 brakes. You've got a centre rod which has got arms coming out top and bottom which supply the front and rear brake. As this rotates this pulls the cable from the front and the bottom one pulls the cable from the back. In the center was the handbrake. I've drawn it up because it's easier to explain. Now, these are the two chassis rails. And this joint here is where it goes off to the brake. This is the bearing carrier and the two ends. And that will look something like, like that. This will then travel through the chassis and then join onto this piece here and the same on the other side. With this, I'm gonna to have to cut the top off so it doesn't go into the cab. Then this bottom one, I'm gonna use here to supply the handbrake. And the handbrake will be sat on this edge here. So what this is gonna enable me to do is have all of the brake cables and rods outside the car and a nice clear run where my feet is gonna go. Now, this is gonna be a pretty tricky old job, but fortunately, Ben said he's up for giving me a hand tonight. I've stuck him on hands the transporter, and I'll be heading off soon. Now, if you wanna see that, you're gonna to have to tune in next week, I'm afraid, because we're out of time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give me a like, that'd be awesome. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll be catching you boys next week. Hang loose.
We know the odds. Oh, Three quarters. I know that. But we don't understand the little, 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 little bits of it. Millimetres is so much easier.